Hi, I'm Vlad with The Verge. We're here at CES 2015, and we're checking out one of the first devices announced at the show is the new LG G Flex 2. This is a 5.5 inch smartphone. It has a curve to it, and is the successor of the original G Flex, which was a six inch device. And it's kind of a mix with LG's current flagship phone, the LG G3, which is again 5.5 inches. So really what you have is the more compact size and dimensions of uh, the newer smartphone. Uh, but you still have that flexible back. You actually can flex and bend this phone. It's designed to do it. It also has this uh, specific self-healing cover on the back, which heals within 10 seconds. So you can scratch it, you can try and tarnish it whatever, whatever way you want, and it will still heal and come back. It's plastic, it's not metal. A lot of other companies are going for metal designs. But LG has a really good looking, uh, really shiny and reflective, but in an attractive way, uh, look to these uh, new phones. It comes in two colors. There's a flamenco red and a platinum silver and it's one of the first devices announced for a new Snapdragon A10 processor. This is an octa-core 64-bit processor, runs in 2 gigahertz. It's basically the most powerful chip you can have these days. But a big upgrade over the original G Flex is in the resolution of the display. Still an OLED display but now has 1080p resolution, full HD. Uh, which gives you 403 ppi uh, pixel density, which is great, and it's just over what the iPhone 6 Plus has, which LG makes sure to tell everyone about. The camera is uh, pretty much the same as the one in the LG G3, however it's been improved. Um, it's had a few software tweaks, a few hardware optimizations, and you can still use it to take selfies by using a gesture. It takes a selfie, and when you go down to preview it, it automatically switches to the preview. And then when you go back up to look, it switches back to the camera. This is designed for selfie stick use, which apparently is going to be one of the big trends of 2015. So in terms of performance, we just had a quick look around the LG G Flex 2 and it looks to be moving around really fast and really fluidly. It runs Android Lollipop. As I say, it has one of the fastest chips around. It basically has all the latest specs that you would expect from a brand new smartphone. However, LG is marketing this as more of a niche high-end device uh, it's going to price it higher than the LG G3 and it doesn't expect to sell that many of them. And that's part of the reason why it has this uh, glossy and shiny, uh, ostentatious look to it. I'm actually a fan of it. I think uh, it works. I think it has that uh, premium feel that LG is going for. And I love the fact that it's smaller than the G Flex, which at six inches would just be too large for it to be a smartphone. Um, I think comparing this to the LG G3, it has a more natural feel. The curve is more subtle than the original G Flex, which again is to the good. And obviously being able to crush and bend and really put this thing uh, for its paces uh, speaks very well for its durability. So this is our first look at the LG G Flex 2. It's one of the very first devices at CES and we expect there to be a whole bunch more. And to see more, more of them, subscribe to our YouTube channel where we'll have all the latest as soon as it happens.